Uh, feeling a little better. Um, we still have to uh, wait on the for him to you know get through the protocol. So, so it's a waiting game at this point. Um, but he's feeling better, which is which is positive. It just has to wait till he gets over those thresholds. Is the criteria still two negative tests between 24 hours? Uh, or or uh, the CT count has to be above a certain threshold. Does that mean he's out for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, that means he's out. <laughs> uh, right now, every single player in your rotation is shooting worse than their career average from three in yeah. terms of percentage. Uh, what do you make of that? Um, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that it's uh, you know just a small sample, but it's something that we talked about. The quality of those shots, um, our overall offensive spacing, uh, hopefully lends to an increase in the, the number of team threes. But uh, it's something that we just have to prioritize. The ball movement, you know, uh, maintaining our spatial discipline, I think will help. Uh, at times we get caught playing in crowds, and I thought that was a, the lion's share of our turnover was the other night in uh, Charlotte. Uh, just trying to over over dribble. Um, just get off of it in a timely manner, make the, the early pass, easy pass. Are you happy with the quality of threes? In general, um, I'd say the bulk of them, yes. The uh, We're not getting enough of them, though. Enough threes overall or enough good threes? Both. <laughs> Both. <laughs> uh, we haven't had a chance to ask you here. What did you think of Johnny in the G League, the two games he played? I thought he played uh, much better the second game. Both games I thought it was good. Uh, his level of aggression. Um, I thought was where it needs to be uh, on both ends. He was, you know, tried to guard. Um, you could see that he was, you know, locked in. Uh, I thought he was, he took the, the, the right shots at the right time, um, shot it with confidence, you know, obviously knocked down some threes in the second game. Uh, so I, I talked to him, he said he's starting to feel like he's getting a rhythm, which is an important piece, uh, you know, for a young player when that game slows down. I think you feel more at ease. Going to Dallas, what do you think are some of the top things that you guys are going to try and get done? Uh, well, the priority is Luka. Um, he's he quarterbacks so much for them offensively. Um, a lot of that's going to be pick and roll. So just being locked in um, as far as coverage, you know, it's going to vary depending on who's involved. Um, and then we're going to have to make adjustments. So being in sync, where all five guys are, you know, on a string. If, if we're, you know, doing different things to take the ball out of his hands, we all have to be aligned. And, and not give you know give up open threes. What is the, the biggest focus regarding the defense? And I know with Luca, yes, you're going to be prioritizing him. But in terms of everyone else, how much do you want to get the entire flow of offense disrupted? Well, I mean that, that, that's an ideal thing. It's just you know disrupt everybody. It's it's not likely. If you you know you commit two to the ball, you you want to put pressure on Luca. He's good enough to find the open guy. So just uh, what happens after that? In the multiple effort. You know, can you scramble around enough? Uh, to force misses, they have you know quality three-point shooting on the floor. That's by design. So uh, we have to make a miss. Memphis game was tough. Uh, they came out with a good game plan. You know, made it like physical, dirty game. We played decent on defensive. I would, I would say, uh, Kuz was excellent on defense against Memphis. Um, and yeah, we did some good things in that Memphis game. Just our offense in both games, I, I would say, wasn't up to our level. And obviously, that's a big part of it is not having Brad, of course. But I think it was just a bit all over the place for us. And, and we're kind of all just hunting the ball a little bit and trying to make something happen. Everybody, of course, with good intentions. But uh, but we have to stay more, um, more, more strict, more disciplined with what we're doing, you know, and, and on the offensive end. And, and defensively, I think we fight hard. We, we try to do the right things. We move around. We, we try to help each other. We also make mistakes. But but we're a young team. We, we have some young guys. And, and 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 not only the young guys, everybody make mistakes, you know. So uh, definitely, I would say a lot to learn. But I'm glad we got one of those two games. What have you thought about Jordan Goodwin so far? Mm, I love him. He's great. He. He was every opportunity he was given, he took it. He came in mentally sharp, played well, and you know this this last game that he had just you know showed that he's he's at this level. You know he's at this level. And he can make a huge impact. I think without him, that would have been a tough tough game for us to win. It was still close, but uh, but he definitely gave us that spark that we weren't that expecting. And and uh, hats off to him. Uh, great guy, works hard. See him here every morning, and yeah, I wish him, I wish him, you know, to keep going this way and and 
and he will he will gain his respect and his spot in this league. What is it about the way he plays that's so contagious? Um, I mean, first of all, he just plays hard. He played hard. He came in, gave us a spark on both hands. Uh, he wasn't afraid. What I loved about him a lot of times, you know, it's hard to come in and kind of be aggressive. He wasn't afraid to be aggressive. He took some shots that he had to take. He drove to the basket. He created some situations, and that was that was really important for us. Uh, so that just shows that he's fearless out there, and, and that's the type of uh, character you got to have if you want to, you know, be a... Uh, is he undrafted? Undrafted guy, you know, trying to take away somebody else's job, you know, and, and he's doing that right now, and, and uh, hats off to him. Uh, that's a lot of confidence. Uh, just actually just being out there, getting more reps and getting more comfortable with everything. And uh, just having the, the coaches and the teammates, you know, believe me, that also give me an extra little push and things like that. But I'm very confident. I've always been a confident player too, so. Right. And you're bringing that attitude to the team. Have you seen that impact your teammates? I, I think it make a, 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 uh, the second unit play a little harder and the first unit play a little harder as well, uh, just by me being out there. And uh, also just being a young guy, being one of the young guys on the team. And also just bringing energy on the bench. Like I'm always up, clapping, yelling, rooting for my guys. And I actually, it, it comes from the heart because I mean it. So uh, I think all that stuff is contagious, rubbing off a little bit. We hear that uh, Brad FaceTimed in after the Hornets game and gave you the belt. Yeah. Uh, what was that like, especially uh, you know, given what he means to you? I mean, I mean it means a lot. Uh, felt good to get the belt too. So I, after uh, Thursday, after a win, hopefully I get the hand off to somebody who deserves it. So uh, I mean, it was a special moment, really special moment. Know, constructive criticism or feedback has he been able to give you you know during this stretch just tell me to keep going uh, just keep doing what I'm doing stay true to my routine and just uh, don't try to do anything outside what I can't do and just play to my strengths so. how would you describe the mindset that allows you to go in and, and go seven for seven from the field uh, to be honest I really wasn't worried about offense I was just letting it come to me uh, like you go back and watch the film all the shots I came to it wasn't rush wasn't one-on-one -on -one, it was in the plays and just the ball just came to me I just shot the ball and it just went in and, and how uh, have you gotten so good at rebounding? I mean, looking back at your college numbers, you were averaging double-digit rebounds as a guard. I mean, that's pretty unusual. I mean, I've always been a good rebounder. Uh, I used to train with my trainer back at home, and I, we didn't have a rebounder. So every time I shoot and miss, I have to get my own rebound and lay it back in. So <laughs> after doing that since the eighth grade, it kind of just, just keep going with me. So. Hey, Drew, when I talked to Coach Mike the past two games, I asked him, what, what did he see that you improved on? He said everything. What was that mindset coming in this summer that helped you improve with everything? Uh, I mean, honestly, man, just having that year of the G League under my belt and uh, just understanding what it can possibly take to be in the NBA, and just locking in on those things in the summertime and just understanding that this is a chance for me to actually, you know what I'm saying, play in the NBA and actually get there. And I just took it serious. And uh, having my son uh, being born actually just made me lock in a little bit more, too, and just focus on him in basketball. Last year, we talked a lot about making lemonade and these appearances. How have you been making lemonade so far? Just going out there, do it, whatever it takes. Uh, that's guarding the, the guard, whoever it is, just going out there, just trying to be aggressive and just try to lock them up, whatever it is. And uh, if it comes to running the offense, being off the ball, whatever I got to do just to help win. Please. I asked Coach about your intangibles. He just said, just do the little things. What are some of those little things you're just hoping to show as you just continue on with your journey? Uh, just guarding, getting the, uh, getting the strengths, uh, like mismatches, just helping out other guys, rebounding, diving on the floor. Uh, rotate box outs, uh, extra passes, just little things. Anything that can help us win. Why do you play as hard as you do? Where does that come from? Just how I was raised, man. I mean, I don't know. It's just built in me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just want more. I'm saying I just want more from the game. And uh, you got to play it hard, I feel like. You never know when it's going to be your last game. Like. Step out there on the court and get hurt, just be done. So just out there, just give them all. You uh, have kind of stood out because you're not phased by the NBA. Uh, it doesn't seem like you play scared at all. But when you came up last year and got the first taste of it, was there like a wow, welcome to the NBA moment for you? Oh, yeah. Uh, especially my first game was with uh, Miami Heat. Uh, it was like something little, too. Uh, just one possession, Jimmy Butler like pushed me to get open. And, like, my, well, I kind of lost my breath a little bit. So I was like, all right, OK, I got to hit the weight run. That's the first thing I said. So. Hit the weight room, get my body right, but I mean, he put his pants on. Everybody put their pants on the same way I put my pants on. So.